Just a quick vid garden, folks. So yeah, I gave out a bunch of moringas, moringa trees, and maybe even some seeds. But um, if you guys are experiencing what I'm going through right now, it's just they kind of go dormant. And they kind of been dormant for a while, so this is a late video. So right now we're coming out of dormancy. And you can see everything's leafing out again. And this is one of my larger trees that I have. Um, I will show one in the ground, but I'm not next to one right now. But these are just potted ones that are barely coming out of dormancy. So they were sticks. You see how this one um, is literally the the newest guy out of the bunch but some are still in dormancy I think I actually lost this one so I'm not perfect either but um, I think I lost this one by actually watering it too much as you can see down over here let's see so you can see down over here when I scratched the bark back at the lowest point it was brown I know I'm not giving oh there you go it's brown usually when you scratch the bark I went for the lowest spot just because everything above was dead but when you scratch the bark it should look green let's see if we can get that in there I'm outside and it's it is sunny but uh if you can tell that's green and this is the bark so that's kind of like for any tree test just go ahead and scratch it and if underneath the skin is green it's still alive if it's brown that part is dead and it doesn't have to be all the way to the bottom so say you come up here and you give a scratch it's definitely not dark brown but it's definitely not green it's actually light brown so that's dead and up here let's say let's go all the way to the top I mean well that's green bark there's a little white right here you can see my previous scratches but you give a little scratch and it's green so you kind of do that to any tree in its dormancy to see if it's still alive but just giving you guys heads up I also did have some that passed away during dormancy and see we can have one that went to seed and I think the top is broke nope still flexible let me give us oh it's it's still green guys let's see uh, it's like greenish brownish so I would kind of go down here mm, that's still green let's see and sorry if my examples aren't the best but I'm out here doing this and this is what I would do even if I wasn't on camera. So that's green, so that's still alive. And that's Moringa. So they did go dormant, they did lose their leaves, and some are coming back, and some are not just yet. These actually get the most sun. I have more over here, don't judge me. The wind came and knocked all these guys over, and I've been a bad plant parent and haven't moved them to the sun. So I did lose a few that's actually more than a couple but you know I'm kind of kind of hard on my plants so you can see this one blew down and kind of started growing sideways let's see let's give you a better picture of that started growing sideways so I have to straighten him out and he can go ahead and grow but you can see he's also coming out of dormancy even spitting flowers no less and just uh, another example of what I mean about the dormancy uh, bark test is you can see I have figs here well there's the peach tree it's leafing out come out of dormancy but figs so I'm gonna go halfway gonna give it a scratch and it's green so that's just a way to test any plant that is in dormancy. Part of my mess, I kind of been working a lot and haven't been able to attend to the yard. But um, that's just to answer any moringa questions. If you guys are scared that they went dormant, just give them some time. A um, little late in saying this, but while they do not have leaves, you do not want to water them um, hardly. 
Um, they're not, since they don't have leaves, that means they're not needing or using or wanting water. So by you watering, the root ball is just going to sit in that moist soil and kind of rot out. So it's better to really, really wait till they go dry to water them when they do not have leaves. As soon as they start leafing out, you can increase water accordingly to the dry and wetness of the soil. But around this time, you're going to want to wait till the soil gets dry and kind of think about it. These are desert, these are tropical plants that can survive in the desert. So they can go a little bit without water. Um, if you dig down into the soil deep enough, these trees are known to store their water at the bottom base of the root, uh, bottom base of the trunk and the root ball. So they're geared for droughts, and um, that's where they'll get their water from in the midst of a drought. That was an, an extended uh, explanation. Thank you for listening. But um, I gave these out, and I just want to kind of steer people good. If you, anybody out there that got some and they died, I will be giving out some more. So just keep a good lookout. And I'm going to try and give out more plants. My next plant that I'm giving out will be Mother of Thousands. Not sure if you guys know about them or heard about them. Where they go? Oh, okay. So I'm going to be giving these guys out soon. I just kind of want to get enough to give out I only have a few right now and I like plants too so I want to make sure I have some left over um, so over and out garden folk